Hello everybody, this is Lorraine from Canada with a Verbling class at the beginner level. In this class we're going to look at vocabulary for using in a shopping market or a supermarket if you're going to go for groceries. These uh, phrases will help you when you're trying to find what you want. I'll greet people as they come into the classroom and we've got Suna. How are you doing today, Suna? Yeah, very good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice to see you again. Thank you. And we have Salvatore. Hi, how are you today? Hi, Loren. I'm fine, thank you. And you? That's how good. I'm very you? good. I'm very good, thank you. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you, teacher. And we have... Um, Fook, is that your name? Can you please unmute your microphone and introduce yourself? Oh, uh, I'm Lee because I'm uh, logging another email and it's. Okay, so you're Lee. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. And we have Palacio. Palacio is... Hi. Hi, am I saying your name right? I don't understand. <laughs> please, Can, please tell me slowly. Yes. Can you say your name, please? My name is Gladys Palacio. Palacio. Okay. Palacio. Welcome, Palacio. Gladys. Nice to have you in the class. Okay, thank you. Okay. And Muscap, Muscap, hi. Hi, how are you, my teacher? I'm good. You have a new picture. <laughs> I'll have to uh, learn a new uh, picture, your success and, and failure. <laughs> it is only this different in its color, this color green. Uh -huh. It's the same in success and failure. And failure. It's just the same. Okay, well, I'll remember that for you. Success and failure. Muscat, welcome to yeah. the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my teacher. <laughs> and we have Miguel. Hi. Hi. Where are you from, Miguel? I'm from Mexico. From Mexico. What area in Mexico? Nuevo León. Repeat, please. Nuevo León. Nuevo León, okay. I have never been there. Really? Is it? Yeah, I have been to many places in Mexico, but not there. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, I like the area around uh, Guadalajara, and I have spent a lot of time in Merida. Yeah, the two places are beautiful. Yes. Very nice. Well, welcome to the class. It's nice to have you. Thank you. And we have Maria. Hi, Maria. Hello, Loren. And how are you Hello. today? Hello. How are you today? Fine. <laughs> Loren. Good. Okay, so uh, let's get started with the class. I have posted information in Burbling chat. If you click on the link, you can download the worksheet. But I will also share my screen with you. And we have Renata in the class too. Hi, Renata. Hello, Lorraine. How are you today? Are you good? Ah, I'm fine despite the the uh, the cold. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, it's cold where you are. It's beautiful here. Nice and warm here in Canada. <laughs> Finally. Like you. Okay, so let me see if I can get the screen share going. Here we go. All right, and we have somebody else, Carlos. <clears throat> Welcome. Carlos, say hello. Carlos, can you hear me? 
Okay, Carlos, I can't hear you if you can unmute your microphone and say hello. Hello, Ryan. There he is. Hi, welcome. Nice to Thank have you in you. class. Okay, so we're going to get started. If you click on my icon at the bottom of the page where the blue at the supermarket is, then it will stay your main screen when other people are talking. So click on that and we'll get started. Okay, first of all, we'll look at some vocabulary. And uh, let's start with Suna. Number one, yeah. what do you think this is a picture of? Uh, a basket of plastic bag is number five. Yeah, um, number one. Uh, Not number, a plastic bag. Uh, number one. Yeah, yeah, I'll check out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. I check out. Good. And um, Salvatore, number two. What is this a picture of? Okay. Uh, maybe teacher in Nazile. Okay, I'm right. having trouble hearing you because there is a bad connection. Um, can you say it again, please? Yes. In uh, Isle. Yes. Can we you... pronounce this word, isle, an isle. We don't pronounce the S in this word. Okay, this an is, isle. yes. Like island has an S in it, and we don't pronounce the S. So this is called an isle. Good. Uh, Renata, number three, please. Okay. Um, a cashier? Yeah, that's a cashier. This Lorraine? Yes. I have a question. Certainly. Uh, uh, an isle is like a hole? I yes. don't understand it. Yes? It is like a hall. It is the walkway between two um, displays of food in a grocery store. It is also the walkway at a cinema between the seats. That is an aisle. Okay. Okay. Thank in you. a church, it is between the seats in a church, the walkway between. It's an aisle. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. So a cashier is a person who um, looks at the items you have bought and enters the price into the cash register and then totals your bill so you can pay it. Mm, next we have Le. Uh, what is number four? It's a trolley. A trolley, yes. In North America, we don't call it a trolley. We call it a shopping cart. But either is correct. A trolley or a shopping cart. Very good. And uh, uh, Palacio, the next one, please. Number five. Gladys. Gladys. Gladys? Yes, my name okay. is Gladys. I'm sorry, Gladys. The that is my mother's name. The five picture is a basket. Uh huh, a basket. Good. Sometimes people say a shopping basket, but a basket is fine. Very good. Okay. Must get Number six. Plastic bag. A plastic bag. You got the hard one. Yes. Okay. Are there any questions about these um, this vocabulary? Okay. We'll continue. 
So let's see if we can finish the sentences with the vocabulary words we just learned. So we'll start with um, Miguel. Sentence number one. Miguel, are you there? Unmute your microphone. Read sentence one. Please pay for your shopping at the cashier. When we have at the, we're not talking about a person. A cashier is a person. At the checkout? Yes, at the checkout. Good. Okay, and uh, Maria, number two, please. If you have a lot of shopping to do, you can use a trolley. A trolley, yes, or the shopping cart. Good. And number three, uh, Carlos. If you don't have much shopping to do, you can take a basket. A basket, good. Suna, number four, please. I found uh, some orange shoes in the green. The green. Uh, oh, on ice, on ice. Um. Are you saying this one? Oh. Yes. Okay. This is pronounced aisle. Repeat. Aisle. 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 Good. An aisle. <coughs> yeah. So in the drinks aisle. On both sides of the aisle are all different kinds of drinks. So we call this the drinks aisle. All right. Okay, number five. Um, Salvatore. After your pay, after you pay, you can put all your shopping in a plastic bag. Okay. And number six, Renata. Oh, I didn't have any cash, so I give my credit card to the cashier. Okay, very good. Are there any questions about these vocabulary words? All right. Let's match the expressions. In this area, we're talking about the delicatessen. Does anybody know what you buy in a delicatessen? It's a question for anyone. What do you buy at the delicatessen? Okay, nobody knows. Well, let's do the match of the expressions and then we'll know. Let's start with uh, Lee. Number one. Number one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Me? Uh, can, I, can I get everybody to mute microphones if you are not the one speaking so we don't have confusion? So just mute your microphones. Except for Lee, because he is talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Lee. A slide of um, bread. Okay, a slice of bread. Mm. You know, you can have a slice of bread. Uh, 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 a slice of ham, bread, and cake. That's the one. Good. Okay, very good. Uh, ham, what's the meaning of ham? Ham is a kind of meat you get from a pig. 
the same hamburger? No. No, hamburger is beef. Oh. This is pork, pig. Ham is pig. Okay, understand pig? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, what, is, what is your language, Gladys? Spanish. 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 Yes. Um, so uh, maybe somebody from a Spanish-speaking country. What is pig? A, an animal. Yes, what kind? Can you Cerdo. say it in Spanish? Cerdo. Cerdo. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's ham from the cerdo. Jamón, yeah. Maria ah, says jamón. Jamón. Okay. Jamón. <laughs> yes. I okay. forgot myself. Okay, good. Okay. All you. right. So, uh, Gladys, it's your turn for number two. 100 grams of um, cheese, meat, olive. Mm hmm exactly. That is how you buy those things in the delicatessen, by the grams. Yes. Good. Okay, uh, Muscat, number three. Number three. Okay. Number three. And number three, A, B, M, B, B, G, R, T. Okay, B, B. baguette. That is a French word, baguette. It is a kind of bread, but also A is baguette or a kilo. You can't have yes, a, a loaf of kilo. <laughs> yes, yes, a kilo, a kilo. So, a loaf of what? It is not A, so it must be... Kilo. This one is not correct. You have a choice of A or B. If A is not correct, then the correct okay. answer is bread. Yes. Okay, Bre bread. Bread, a loaf of bread. This is yes. what we say in English. I would like a loaf of bread, please. Or I would like two loaves of bread, please. And that leaves uh, number four, makes it the hard one <laughs> for Miguel. Half a what? A uh, half, half baguette. Or half a kilo. Both of those terms will work. So we have a slice of ham or a slice of bread, or a slice of cake. These are the, um, the amounts of any of those things. We call it a slice of, because we cut a piece from the ham, or we cut a piece from the bread. We say a slice of. Okay, uh, Renata? Can you say one of these? A uh, slice of? A slice of ham. Okay, good. Um, Muscat, say one of these. A slice of? Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you say, number one, choose one of these things? Number one. Say. And, and number one. And and I don't see now. Okay, just say a slice yeah. of a slice of and slice tell me one of, of these things. Um, bread and cake. Okay, a slice of bread. It's good. All right. Now also, 
when we buy certain things, we buy it by the gram, or often by a hundred grams. So uh, let's see, um, Miguel, give me a hundred grams of, say one of these. <coughs> Yes, uh, 100 grams of cake. Not cake. 100 grams of one of these. C. Meat. Okay, 100 grams of meat. All right, good. Uh, let's see. Suna? Yes. Number two as well. Give me a 100 grams. Yes. 100 grams of uh, potato salad. Okay, 100 grams. Remember the S on the end. 100 grams of potato salad. Good. And let's see. Who hasn't? Gladys. Mm, number four. Read this and choose one of the two options. Half a bucket or okay. half a kilo. Okay, very good. Does everybody understand these expressions? Yes. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, these are the dialogues. Um, I'm going to play the audio for you. As you listen, read along to see what each of them says. So there are a number of little dialogues. Listen. We'll listen twice and then put the correct words on the lines. One. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Two. About 100 grams. Three. Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Four. A little more, please. Five. No, a little less. Uh, that's fine. Thank you. Six. Yes. Please give me about ten slices of that ham. Seven. Thank you. That's all. Okay. I'm going to play it through one more time. Uh, can everybody please make sure you have your microphone muted? So Gladys, I think you need to mute yours and yeah, there. So does Gladys, can you mute your microphone please? Mute? Mute. My phone? Microphone, yes. My microphone? Mm, I will do it for you. There. Okay. Listen again. One. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Two. About 100 grams. Three. Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Four. A little more, please. Five. No, a little less. Uh, that's fine. Thank you. Six. Yes. Please give me about ten slices of that ham. Seven. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Let's see if we can put the correct uh, words on the lines. Let's start with Maria. Can you try the first one? Lorraine? Yes. I am Claire. I am Claire. Uh, yes. We're, right now, we are just going to fill in the blanks. Just tell me what needs to go on the line. What does yes. what is here? I do like some. Okay, I mm -hmm. like some. I like some of that cheese, please. Very good, mm -hmm. thank you. 
Okay. okay. Back to you, please. Good. Okay, Miguel. The next um, blank line, what should go here? Yes. What should go on this line? About 100 grams. Good. Uh, Muscap, what goes on this line? Uh, a, little, a little more. Not yet. She doesn't say that yet. Something of this beef. So the assistant asked if she wanted anything else. Yes, yes, yes. Can I have some? Yeah. Can I can I have some of the beef? Good. Very good. Okay. And Gladys, the next one. Okay, Gladys, now you need to unmute your microphone. You can move your cursor in the center of the screen. A box will appear with a microphone icon. It is red. Click it and it will unmute. There we go. Good. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. It's number four. Yes. Um, I'd like some. Uh, well, assistant says sure. This much. Um, please give me about. No. Something, please. Um, a little less. That's fine. Mm, not a little less yet. No. This much. A little more. Yeah, a little more, a little please. More, please. Good, a little more. And then the assistant says this much. And she uh, says, Lee, what does she say? Yes. Uh, no, a little less. That's fine. Good, yeah, a little less. That's fine. And then the assistant says, anything else? Renata, what does Claire say? Yes, uh, please give me about 10 slices of that ham. Very good, okay. And the assistant says, sure, here you are. And Claire says, uh, Salvatore, what does Claire say? Thank you, that's all. That's all. That's all. Good. All right, very good. Now, we're going to do this dialogue together. Um, we'll get everybody to try it. Uh, to start, we'll have Suna be Claire. Salvatore, you will be the assistant. Okay, so read through the whole dialogue. Go ahead. Okay. I have like some of the cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? A little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything, anything else? Please give me about 10 slices of the ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Very good. Suna, remember that um, I know your eye is drawn to the blue, but you missed these words at the beginning of what Claire said. Yes and no and yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did get thank you, which is good, but just remember to look carefully. Very good, otherwise everything was good. Okay, so uh, Renata and uh, Lee, you will do the same thing. Renata, you can be Claire and Lee, okay. the assistant. Okay. Um, 
I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? No, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please. Give me about 10 slices of that ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, very good. Very nicely done. Uh, okay, so Gladys and Muscat, I want you to yes. do this. Um, I'll switch around, though. It isn't always going to be the woman who is Claire. So, Muscat, you will be Claire this time, and Gladys, the assistant. Go ahead. Okay. okay. I didn't like so much. Okay, Gladys. Please. Yes. Gladys, you yes. are the assistant. Ah, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'd like some of that juice, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About one kilo, 100 kilo. Not kilo. That is a K. This is a G. 100 G. What's the G stand for? 100 grams. Yes, 100 grams. Here you are, anything else? Grams. Here you can are, I have else? Some, can, <laughs> can I have some of the, this beef? Okay, Muscab, also you must remember to see the first word, yes. Yes, yeah. read it again. Okay. Yes, can I have some of this beef? Okay, sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? A little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, no. Please give me a vote of sirenses uh, of that ham. Sure. Here you are. That's all. Okay. That's all. Muscab, you are also having the same problem. I'm okay. I should do this more clearly, I guess. Okay. But Claire okay. says, Yes, can I have some of this beef? And no, a little less. And yes, please give me about. And you had some problems here. What is this number, Muska? Yes. Can you say this number? Two, uh, uh, ten, ten yes. cells of that. Ten. This is ten yes. slices. Say slices. Ten slices. Good, yes, ten slices. All right, excellent. Okay, let's go yes. on. Please give me ten slices. All right. Uh, Miguel and Maria, you will do this. Um, Miguel, you will be Claire, the customer, and Maria, the assistant, please. <coughs> go ahead. Miguel, you are Claire? Uh, yeah. Claire. <laughs> well, we'll just say customer, customer. I like some of that cheese, please. Okay. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Can I have some of that of this beef? Yes. 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 <laughs> Can I have some of this beef? Uh, sure. This much. A little more, please. 
this much. No, a little yeah. bit. That fine. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Okay, Miguel, we had trouble hearing you say that because it's a bad connection. Can you try again? Okay. All right, Maria, finish your line. Claire, Loren? Yes. <laughs> yes. Maria, say your line. Yes, please, this one. About them. Sure, here you are. Okay, Miguel. That's right. Okay, Miguel, we can't hear you, so unfortunately we'll have to uh, continue on. All right. So let's put these expressions into the correct categories. Now, I asked the question earlier, what we buy at the delicatessen. Can anybody give me at least one thing that you can buy at a delicatessen? Renata, olives. what do you think? Olives. Okay, olives. You can buy olives there. Um, what else? Suna? Yes. Yes, meat. You can, the meat you buy at a delicatessen is usually meat that is preserved, like a ham or like um, a kielbasa sausage or chorizo, some kind of prepared type of meat rather than raw meat, not usually raw. That is at a butcher's. Anything else you can think of? Salvatore, at the delicatessen. Uh, pasta, teacher. Did you say pasta? pasta? No. Um, maybe pasta done as a salad cooked pasta, but not usually raw pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lee, what, do you, what else can you get at the delicatessen? Delicatessen. Um. We did a slice of it, or a hundred grams, or all those different things can can I have a kilo of that beef please okay so some meats all right anyway let's continue on with some more expressions these expressions will be used in other parts of the supermarket so some are at the delicatessen, some are going to be in a category where you are looking for an item, and some of these expressions you will use at the checkout. So let's start with Maria. Read the sentence. Tell me what category to put it in. Okay, go ahead. Maria? Yes, sorry, Lauren. I don't understand very well. Can you read the sentence? Oh, yes. Can I have a kilo of that beef, please? Okay. Are, is this something you would say? At the delicatessen counter? Yes, 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 yes. yes of course. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. 
and uh, Miguel, are you there? Yes. Okay, good. We can hear you. Can you read number two, please? Excuse me. I'm looking for rice. Okay. Is this at the delicatessen? Are you looking for an item? Or at, are you at the checkout? Looking for items. Yes. So number two is looking for an item. Excuse me. I'm looking for rice. Good. Um, Moscow, number three. Read it, please. Muscap, are you there? Yes, no, I'm, there he no, is. I'm Good. here. I'm here. Okay. Number three, read it, please. Excuse me, where can I find coffee? Okay, is this looking for items at the delicatessen or at the checkout? Look for. Yes, it's looking for items, yes. You're looking for something. Good. And um, Gladys, number four, read it. Number four, what is that over there? Is, so. Um, at the scout. What is mm. that over there? No. Are you looking for something or are you at a delicatessen? What do you think? Looking for items. Yeah, you're looking for items. What is that over there? Good. Number four. Good. And uh, number five, uh, Lee. Read it, please. Can I have a bath, please? Uh, at the checkout. Yes, at the checkout. You need a bag to carry your groceries. Good. And Renata, number six. Do you have any French cheese uh, at the delicatessen? Good. All right. Are there any questions about these expressions? All right. Now, we have some situations and you are going to work together in pairs and role play these situations. I'm going to start with Suna and Renata. So, uh, Suna, mm -hmm. you are the customer mm -hmm. and Renata, you are the sales clerk in the delicatessen. Number one, you are at a delicatessen and you want 200 grams of olives. Go ahead. Mm. Hello. Do you have some 200 grams uh, of ham? No, we're doing olives. Olives. Uh, olive. Uh, okay. So, Suna. First, you would ask, do you have any olives? Uh, okay, okay. Try it. Yeah. Do you have any olives? Certainly. How much would you like? I'd like to 200 grams of olives. Please, you are. please, oh. Oh, please. <laughs> in English you have to use your please and thank yous. Uh -huh. Yes, I would like 200 grams of olives, please. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I want uh, 200 grams of olives, please. Good. Okay, here you are. Anything else? Yes, that's it. Thank you. Good. Very well done. Yay. Okay. So, uh, Renata, this time you are the customer. And uh, Salvatore, you will be the assistant. And Renata, 
you can't find any T. So this is not at the delicatessen now. This uh -huh. is just the grocery store. So you try to find somebody and ask them okay. how to find the T. Okay? Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm looking for T. Do you know where I as where Ailey is it? Do you know what aisle it ah, what is in? Aisle is in. Okay. Sure. Uh, you can find T uh, mm. over there. Uh, on the right, you can find uh, in the, the ale area the T. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So. Um, you can use uh, a number for aisles. Usually in a grocery store, the aisles are numbered. So maybe the T is in aisle five on the right. Okay, you can try okay. it that way, aisle five on the right. All right, so this time, Salvatore, you are the customer. And um, Le, you are going to be at the checkout. You're the cashier. So uh, the scenario is you are at the checkout and you need a plastic bag for your groceries. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, good morning. Can I have uh, a plastic bag, please? Um... Mm, uh, ye yes, here you are. Thank you, sir. Okay, very good. All right, that was a simple one. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lei, this time you are the customer. And uh, Gladys, you will be the uh, person at the delicatessen, the assistant. So, Lei, you need some Greek yogurt, but you don't see any Greek yogurt. Ask I love Greek. Lord. Greek, Greek yes. is um, something from Greece, from the country Greece. Greek yogurt is a special kind of very thick yogurt. It's a very thick yogurt. You understand yogurt? Yogurt, see, sí, but yeah, it okay. Is a um, is similar uh, probioticos? No, it is um, a type of yogurt that was made in Greece originally. So they make a different kind of yogurt from normal yogurt. Okay, it, Greek. Greek, yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, so are you ready? Let's go. Yes. Um, uh, I'm looking for some Greek yogurt, but I don't see any, any Greek yogurt. Can you help me? Good. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, the the sugar Greek is our the the sale. You you right? In, in. <laughs> I don't sir. <laughs> okay. So you can say, Gladys. You can say uh, the Greek yogurt is Greek. not. At the delicatessen, say an aisle where he can find the Greek yogurt. Okay. It's not at uh, the delicatessen. In in this delicatessen, no have no happen. Uh, we, we don't have. We don't have Greek yogurt. Try aisle. 
right now. Try aisle five. I'll write that. Try. Try. Try guys number five. Okay. Yeah. Try aisle five. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will try. Thank you. Okay, good. That was a hard one. All right. Uh, so this time, um, Gladys, you will be the customer, and Muscab, you will be the assistant. And Gladys, you are looking for orange juice. Okay. Uh, with with him. Just go, yeah, up what to him and say, excuse me, mm. excuse me. Uh, I don't look, look, I don't look the foreign use, please help me. Okay, I'm looking for orange juice. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking, looking for orange juice. Okay. Okay, here you are. Okay, so Muscap, you have to tell her what aisle the orange juice is in. What aisle? Mm -hmm. Orange juice. It. Orange juice. Orange juice. Okay, so Gladys, you say, I'm looking for orange juice. I'm looking for orange juice. Okay, must gap. The orange juice is in. Could you repeat that? Yes, the orange juice the is, orange is, juice in, is in. Is in. Aisle, and aisle. say a number. The orange juice is in aisle. What number? The orange juice is in aisle. Say a number. Say a number. The orange juice is in aisle six. Here you are. <laughs> the orange juice is in aisle six. Okay, on the right. Mm -hmm. Can you say that, Muscab, please? The, the, orange the orange juice, juice is in aisle, aisle six. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And what do you say, Gladys? Um, I am, I am looking for orange juice in aisle number six. Okay. Say thank you. Okay. Here, here you are. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so you just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Gladys says thank you, and Muscab says you're welcome. You're welcome. There you go. Okay, good. <laughs> no All problem. right. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> The next one, uh, Muscab, you are the customer, and Miguel, you are the assistant. Okay, you are at the delicatessen. You see some meat. You want to know what kind of meat it is. So, Muscab, what do you say? Start. I'm customer. You're the customer. Muscab, yes. you are the customer. Okay. Ask. I ask. I, I see some meat. I wanted to know. Please. What kind is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Please, um, 
beef. What beef? One kilo. So must Gab ask this question? In verbling chat, do you see it? No, no. Do you have Google Chat? Yes, I have Google Chat. Okay. I'll put it there. Yes. What kind of meat is this? He said, it is... Well, well, that meat is a uh, kind of beef. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, he, here you are. Muscab, oh, do you no. want, do you want the beef? You can yes, say, yes. How many grams? I have one kilo. Okay. Okay, so here you go. Good. A kilo of beef. All right. Yes. Thank you. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's let's get uh, Miguel. You are the customer, and Maria, you are the assistant. And this time, it's uh, Miguel can't find any bread. Go ahead. Excuse me, miss. Can, could you help me, please? Yes. Could you tell me where I can find the bread aisle? In the aisle uh, four. Would you see? Can you repeat that, please? On the right. On the right. In the aisle five. Aisle five. Thank you. And Maria, you say you're welcome. Are you welcome? Okay, you're yes. welcome. Are you welcome? <laughs> <laughs> Just you're welcome. He says thank you. You reply, you're welcome. All right. Unfortunately, we're out of time, so we have to go. Uh, I have the very next class after this. Uh, it is a pre-intermediate class, so maybe you feel prepared for that, and if so, please join me. If not, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.